Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. This is going to be a Saturday vlog. It is 8.30 a.m. on Saturday morning, and I am enjoying a nice hot cup of, I don't even know what flavor this is. You guys, I have so much Doraconi coffee left over from um, when, you know, the sponsorship was happening that I don't even know what to do with all of it. So what I do is I empty a bag of the coffee into a little pumpkin container. And honestly, I cannot remember what flavor this is. I think it might be like a maple bourbon or something like that. But this is my favorite cup. My daughter got this for me. And it's of myself and both of my daughters at um, a little sunflower patch. And I absolutely love it. It's my favorite cup. But... I actually throffed, throffed, frothed, whatever, my milk and my cream today. I am using the sugar-free creamer, and I put a little bit of pumpkin spice on top there. Mr. Rocky Rococo woke up super early this morning, um, and I just decided that we were going to relax this morning. So, cheers to a nice, crisp fall morning weekend. Also, I just started watching Dear Child. This is the limited series, and I'm on episode two. Shout out to Andrea. She told me to start watching this, so I did, and it seems pretty fucked up. So I'm going to be picking out some wax to melt today, and I also decided that I want to buy some new wax, um, oh, what do you want to call it, wax warmers. I have three in my living room and one in my bedroom. I want to get one for in here. And I had one and I don't know what I did with it. It's probably in with all of my fall decor, which I'm planning on not decorating like as extensively as I have in the past. But here's my first drawer of wax. Um, here is my second drawer of wax. And then if I can get, I can't open it because of this, but here is my third drawer of wax. So I'm not even going, well, hold on a second. It looks like there might be some fall stuff in here. Okay, wait a minute. We've got Honey Crisp Cider. Gonna pull that one. Um, ooh, here's a Caramel Apple by Kelby. I will pull that one. And I think, yes, I do have, um, I took this one out here. This one is Fallen Leaves by Kelby, so I'm pulling that. And then I'm also going to be using the Cinnamon Apples today by Sensationals and then by Goose Creek, the Salted Caramel Cupcake. So that's what I'm going to be melting today, just like a Mod Podge of all those different fall scents together and it's gonna be spectacular. I also need to do a good cleaning of all of my wax plates that I have here, but this is everything. So I'm gonna be putting the big pumpkin in this Yankee Candle one. And let's see, maybe the half of the Goose Creek will go in one of these. There we go. Um. Let's do the cinnamon apples. I've got one cube can go in, oops, my big warmer. And then the other two cubes can go in that one. Okay, and then, well, let's see. Let's do the honey crisp cider. Let me smell this real quick. Oh yeah, that is magnificent. It reminds me of like, a day um, in the pumpkin patch. Like we used to go to this local farm and they would serve apple cider um, from the apples that they had at their orchard. And it was absolutely amazing. So this just pops out like that. We will break off two chunks there. Um, in my bedroom, I think I'm gonna have that going as well. And then I will break off another chunk for that one, another chunk for that one, because I like mixing everything together. And then we have the Scents by Kelby in the Caramel Apple. Ooh, look at, he put uh, little fall leaves on there, so pretty. And I'll just do two chunks of this one. 
in my big warmer. So we have a whole bunch of different scents going on. Oh, I probably could add another chunk of this one. And my purple plate. Okay, here we go. And everything is all set. Good morning, everyone. So I decided today that it's going to be kind of a relaxing day because it's raining, but we're still going to run errands. So I have to take back some pajama tops that I got from Hallmark. Um, I got the tops and I ordered them as a set. They were only nine bucks a piece, but they didn't come with the bottoms and the tops like are super crappie. I'll just show you guys real quick. Um, I got an extra large and they seem to like they fit, but like they're super crappie and I don't know, they're short sleeve. I kind of wanted a little bit something like in between weather. So it was like, you know, not too hot um, because there are still days here where it's, um, you know, in the 70s, but then sometimes at night it dips down to the 50s. So I am going to be, if I can get the bag here, taking um, all three of these tops back and getting a refund. I ordered them online just because it's so much easier sometimes to like, you know, get stuff online and find your size. And it's just like a quick, like free shipping moment. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm going to do that and then I need to go to Costco because I need to meal prep tomorrow and get ready for that. So I wanted to get um, some meatballs. I wanted to get what else was on my list. The stir fry frozen vegetables because I really like those a lot. Even though they're not like considered quote unquote fresh, they're still semi-fresh I feel because they're frozen. So... I don't know. We'll see. And then what else did I need to get? I think I needed to get, um, garlic powder. Um, there was one other thing, not like too many things, but I also wanted to look at their like in between aisles for like more bedding, more blankets, stuff like that. Not that I really like need it, need it, but it would be nice. I also wanted to get a smaller block of cheddar cheese. Um, I have tons of mozzarella. Don't need any more of that, but I do need some cheddar, um, yogurt possibly if they have the good stuff. And what else did I, cream cheese. But see, here's the problem. I don't think I need like to buy big for the yogurt and the cream cheese because I'm the only one who eats it. And also they don't have the low fat cream cheese at Costco. So I might end up just running to the grocery store and getting that stuff. Um, I really liked going to Woodman's the last time I went since I haven't been like in such a long time, but I really liked it because they had, even though like the store is huge and everything and like everybody complains about how big the store is, they do have a lot more choices to offer you. Like I found that a zero sugar, um, pumpkin Greek yogurt, which like I will never find that in my regular grocery store. They have the regular Greek yogurt in the pumpkin, but not the zero sugar. So just like little things like that um, make me want to go to Woodman. So I don't know what the day will hold, but I will hopefully bring you guys along with me. I'm wearing my little sweater layered moment because even though it's raining outside, um, it's supposed to get to 75 or like, I don't know, mid to upper 70s today. And I thought about wearing a hoodie, but then I was just like, mm, I think it's too warm for a hoodie. So I have this like sleeveless moment and then like my little white sweater over it. Um, my hair is dead. I just dyed it with the bitch on the box. You guys complaining about me saying bitch on the box. I say that about every girl on the box. I didn't know that that girl was like a famous girl. I thought she was just like one of those like everyday models. It wasn't directed towards her. It was directed towards the bitch on the box. Hey guys, so I was gonna go to Hallmark and return those pajamas and then Costco, but my mom called and she wants to go with. So I guess that's what we're going to do. So I told her that I would pick her up and she said, that she's on the highway headed back to town I guess from Appleton or something I don't know so I am 
going to meet her at her house and then we're gonna go to Hellmart. She said she wants to pick up some fake flowers for cemetery plots. I don't know. To me, it is a nice gesture like to plant flowers or whatever at the cemetery plots or to get like artificial flowers um, and put them up. Um, but I don't know. Is that like a thing for like old people? Like I used to visit my dad a lot at his plot and then I don't know I guess I came to like the realization that I don't need to do that like personally for myself like because I know that he's just always with me wherever I go whatever I do he's just like always there um when I need him but I guess like for other people it's maybe a way that they cope with loved ones being gone um so anyway that's what's happening I'm sorry if I sound insensitive or annoyed by it. I just don't really see like the purpose. But again, I have to remember that's like for myself and others um, grieve differently, I guess. So I was going to actually return these other pajamas that I got that I didn't show you guys, but I will show you when I get home. I didn't try them on yet. And then when I tried the top on, I was like, wait a minute. These feel super soft. I'm low-key loving the color of them. You'll see when I get home. But they're Pioneer Woman, which is kind of cliche, whatever. But I kind of love, low-key love. Um, but the material, I don't know how they're going to wash, you know, like after like a few washes, if they're going to pill or whatever. But they're like the softest pajama I have ever, I think, had. And I'm a little bit disappointed because, first of all, like, I'm a pajama whore. Like, I have more pajamas than I do clothes, and I have a lot of clothes. But I have noticed that my pajamas are either, number one, way too big and too baggy and just feel, like, really frumpy. Like, don't get me wrong. A big, like, muumuu is everything. Like, oversized, whatever. But sometimes there's, like, too much material. When you're trying to sleep or, like, roll over, it, like, bunches and it's just, you know, too much. Um, other stuff, I noticed that, okay, when I take a shower, I will, you know or like in the morning or whatever when I'm changing I'll just like put my clothes on the floor sometimes I'll forget about them and like pick them up when I get home from work other times I will pick them up right away put them in the hamper whatever the case may be Mr. Rocky Rococo loves textiles he is a textile goddess so whenever there is a piece of clothing on the floor he will take it in his mouth and proceed to chew on it. So I have, I noticed, about three pair of my favorite pajama sets that have holes in the textiles, in the fabric. And I'm just like, shit, now what? So I'm gonna have to throw those away because like no one wants holy pajamas, even though they're my favorite and I'm like obsessed. So I do need more pajamas, I guess is what I am trying to say. So those Pioneer Woman pajamas, they're like perfect because even though they're long sleeve and long pant, they're still kind of like breathable material, but it, like I said, it's just the softest material ever. So I'm going to wear those pajamas tonight because it is a little bit nipply outside right now and I only expect it to get cooler once the day goes on and... I will see how they, you know, fit and, you know, do. And if I get too hot or too cold, whatever. And if they fit great, I'm probably going to order more. Probably going to order more. So that's the tea with that. Um, but I am almost to my mom's house. So, and you guys know she doesn't like me recording at all. She hates it. So I have to, you know respect her for that. She doesn't like the camera. I mean, I don't put it on her, but she, 
Like, I remember back in the day, she loved it. Like, she was always like, oh, let's go here so you can record. Or let's go here. And now, not so much. I think it's because a lot of people, like a lot of her friends or whatever, do know about my channel. And I'm wondering if they do, like, secretively watch. And she just doesn't want to be on there because of that, like, with embarrassment or something. I don't know. But anyway, I will try to record as much as I possibly can. I just got back from Walmart, and those are the flowers that my mom got. They had beautiful mums, and they were only, what were they, 13 Yes. Yeah, $13 for the bucket there. Better Homes and Gardens. So go to uh, Hellmart if you want your mums. So she had to go inside. Um, she got those fake flowers for the gravestones. Yeah, that's fine. And then she's going to be letting the dogs out too real quick before we run to Costco. But, excuse me, I had no problem returning those pajamas. So that was good. That was done. And the sun came out. And it's hot as a bitch now. It's like when the sun goes down, it's nice and cool and dreamy and breezy. And when it comes out, it is humid and hot as a bitch. So that's one thing I hate about this fall weather is that it's like so in between, like you just don't know how to dress. But I do have my little like yoga spandex capris on today. So, and I can always like take this off or whatever if need be. But yeah, I'm excited to go to Costco. Okay guys, we are back at my mom's house. All of her stuff from Costco is in the back seat. I wasn't going to get the executive uh, membership but I decided to put my mom on my membership and I had a kickback from my executive for last year of like $62. So she's just gonna pay me the 30 bucks for the membership and then I get a year membership for $30. So that worked out for me. So I just got home from Costco and I'll show you guys what I all got. I picked up the vegetable blended stir fry. They did have another um, vegetable, you know, option, but it did say fire roasted. If any of you guys got the fire roasted um, vegetable blend from Costco, please comment down below and let me know if it is spicy or not, because it did look a lot better than this one, but I was just so scared because I don't really like spicy things, especially like spicy hot things. Um, like I don't really mind a tiny little bit of spice, like a little bit of kick to it, but if it's like super hot or whatever, I just like can't do it. And it did have like a little flame on the logo. So I was just like, oh shit, I better just pick these up. Anyway, I also got these, um, sausage sticks. So I believe a half of one sausage is 110, um, calories. And let me see. Yeah, half a stick, 110 calories. So that's not too bad. You still get eight grams of protein in there per half stick. I also picked up some medium cheddar cheese, a block of it. Um, I could not resist the broccoli and cheddar soup. I get this every year and I might have a cup of it tomorrow for my um, like in-between meal prep. 290 calories for one cup. That's a lot of calories per cup, but you know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I also picked up the Amy Lou Teriyaki, Teriyaki Pineapple Meatballs. I'm gonna be food prepping with this for tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing the meatballs with um, vegetable blend and a rice mixed into it. So that should be good. I also picked up my chunks of chicken breast in the canned. Um, these are a lot less expensive than they would be if you go to the grocery store. So these are good, um, good source of protein. I needed to get some garlic powder. So pick some of that up for my daughter. She wanted me to pick up some creamer and you guys know that I always do, um, sugar-free creamer, but they had the pumpkin spice. So I was just like, you know what, let's do it. Um, I also got some brats again, but this time I got different ones. So this is the mild Italian sausage. And then they also had like regular brats. Um, but the regular brats was 280 calories per link. This is 250. And I also noticed, was it, what was it? There was another thing in here and I was just like, maybe it was the, 
grams of protein. There was only like 16 grams of protein in that one and 17 in this one. Um, and I think there were maybe, maybe 16 links in the other one instead of 14 links. I don't know. I know there was like a few differences and I compared the two and this one was the better deal. So got that one. And then also for my daughter, I picked up the frozen ramen. Um, I believe, yeah, there are six bowls in here. This was a little pricey. It was not on sale, but I thought, you know what, this is something different. Um, something, you know, that she can try and maybe report back to me so I can report back to you guys. And, um, yeah, now I will show you guys the clothes that I got. Okay, you guys, I overheated. I don't know what happened, but I got a little bit verklempt little bit warm but i'm gonna show you guys what i bought so i got this really cute um crew neck sweatshirt it's fila i did actually pick it up in a 2x because they ran small and you can definitely tell that they run a little bit small but um and one of the ladies there was like oh just like you know get a size up because just to let you know these are a little bit smaller but i love this color they had this in purple this one maybe a baby blue I don't know but I would look online to get these and then they had a whole bunch of pajamas but I opted for this it is by Buffalo and it is just this like super soft nice crew neck sweater like a sweatery sweatshirt I don't know it does have like a sweater type feel to it but just like super relaxed um, and I also picked this up in a 2X because I want it to be loose because I'm going to be wearing it for pajamas. But I think both of these were like $12.99 or something like that. They were either for, I think the Fila was $14.99 and this one was $12.99. But this one didn't come in that many colors. There was like a gray one with black stars on it. They had an all black one. They had maybe a plum that I was thinking about getting, but I do like the blue. And then I could not resist for only $7 for Rocky Rococo, this really nice plush blanket. My mom picked one up for her dogs and um, she got this one, this print as well. I believe they had two other prints. They had a blue one that had like circles on it that was um, like different color blue. I liked this one just because of the blue colors in there, I don't know. And then they also had another like bluish one that had purple in it but there was only one of those left and I just like the blue one better so I picked this up for Rocky Rococo super like plush and soft and um super inexpensive and then at Hellmart when I was there taking back those pajama uh tops which wasn't a big deal like they didn't care um the lady was just like oh that's weird okay well here we go um, I did pick up some sports bras, so I got this one here, and they were um, on clearance for $9, and I always take the foamy thing out of here, and I use these, you guys, if I feel like it's tight enough, and um, I'm not, like, bouncing, I will wear these as regular bras. See, I just, like, I take this out. I don't like it, um, but if, like, I don't feel like I have enough support which I never have with these sports bras. Like I always have enough support with these sports bras. Um, then I'll just wear it as a regular bra and I will wear it as like a workout top as well. So I got this one. And then there was also a just plain gray one like this. And then there was also a burgundy one that looks like this. I like the back of them too. They like crisscross applesauce which is kind of nice. Um, it just, you know, adds like more, I feel, security to the bazam area. But yeah, so I picked these up. I used my gift card. I had a gift card, um, like a credit from one of my other purchases. Oh my God, you guys, another baby squirrel is out there. I have so many baby squirrels this year. I don't know why. I think I had like three different litters that were born this year in the tree because um, I thought there was only one and I thought the one squirrel had four babies and then all of a sudden I saw like 10 babies and I'm like, wait a minute, there's like, this is big, like there's 
a whole unit happening here. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm glad I found these. Okay, and I have it on, and I don't wanna like show too much because, you know, we don't wanna like reveal a lot, but you guys are really nice. These are like, this is cute. And look at enough support on the bosom area. So <laughs> I'm happy about that. Um, I will definitely be able to just like wear these on their own, like on the weekends or whatever when I'm home. Like I would never just go out in this, like with my midriff showing because that's a little risque for someone who is going to be 49 in October. Um, anyway, so I'm so glad that you guys stuck around this long to watch this little vlog. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new here and hit the notification bell so you guys will be notified each time I upload a video. I'm so glad that you guys are here with me today. God bless and have a great weekend. Bye everyone.